Hey there friends, how's it going? Carol here, EXP Realty, also the Kona Cowgirl. So I got this 20 foot container, I got put on my lot. I purchased this lot, three quarters of an acre in Kealakekua, Hawaii. Finally got the fencing done. Uh, I gotta get gates up, but got the fencing all done. So next project, I'm gonna work on this container. So I wanna paint it. So before I painting, I'm going around and I am scraping off any loose materials off of the container. At that point then I'm going to use apply a primer and then I bought some uh, direct to metal paint from Home Depot. I'm gonna paint this bugger so keep watching and we'll see how the day progresses but this is a start. We go around just try to scrape all of the places where there's rust to get any loose material off and get that all scraped down. Once that's done, I can paint the primer on it and then I'm gonna paint the roof too, so stay tuned. Okay, so here's my primer. I got it shaken up, I've got my brush and basically all I'm gonna do is hit these spots with the primer Here's the container with primer on it. So I just went around and spot patched all the places that had little rust on them here and there. Just a little extra protection before I paint it. So it looks like a Dalmatian right now, but it's gonna look really good pretty soon. But it's important to cover at least the rust spots, at least give it a little help protection wise from these rust spots. And then once it gets painted, it's gonna look totally different. Gotta get that corner. Okay, progress. The next part of this container project is the roof. So I'm up here on top of the container. Woo, it's high up here, but I've got a stunning view of the ocean and north to south. But anyway, I came up here a little while ago. I brought my scraper. I scraped off all the rust. Got a couple of low spots that holds water. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sweep off all of the rubbish off of the roof, wet it down, wipe it, sweep it, let it dry. And then I'm gonna start applying the um, waterproofing and uh, damp proofer that uh, I got for the roof. Uh, the first coat will be a damp proofer, it's a black, I'm gonna do that mostly in the low-lying areas, like, like an asphalt sealer, Henry's. And then it's a white uh, top coating. I may not get to that today, but tomorrow, and at least I can get this much prepped. And that's where we're at. Okay, enough for one day. I don't trust these clouds to come down and wash away all my hard work, so I'm gonna call it a day. Container looks good. I did the roof with the primer and all the way around with primer and tomorrow is paint. Stay tuned. So this morning I'm gonna work on the top of the container. I'm up on the top of the container, Look at my beautiful view of the ocean coffee plantation to the north. So what I've done here on the top of the container, I've gone on a couple days ago and painted primer on all of the kind of bad spots. And then yesterday, while it was still dry, I took the Henry's Damp Proofer, the black stuff, and I put it over the bad rust spots. There's a couple that are low that hold water, so that just is going to be extra protection for them. So I painted that on there. And now this morning, what I'm going to use is this uh, Henry's Dura Bright Roof Coating. Yeah, well, we're going to see how that goes. I read to apply it with a roller, which is okay, except for that this roof is all, has all the bumps to it. And so I'm just gonna paint it because to do a roller, I'd get the top pieces, um, but not the, in the lower pieces of the roof. So I will uh, get to work on this, get this painted. It's gonna take two coats. So I'm gonna do one now and then another one later on. Okay, so this took me about half hour, 45 minutes. Got it all painted by hand. Used about a three inch paintbrush. Got it all done. Hopefully it won't rain. Stay away clouds. 
and I'll come back and put another coat after. But it worked out pretty good, not quite a half a gallon on here. And then I'll make sure that the next coat is nice and smooth too. Okay, so yesterday I got a lot of the container painted. Um, it was a process. I ended up with a lot of paint on me. It's not as easy as some of them show on YouTube, but uh, this is my YouTube, so it doesn't matter. Today I'm just going to go back over, hit the spots that I missed, some of them up there on the top. Um, but I did a pretty good, it came out pretty good. You can't really see any of the stickers anymore. It came out pretty good. Got to get up there, get that area spray that and then also the roof and then of course I ran out of paint without much left to get so I went and got more paint and uh, we're gonna finish it up and then it's gonna look amazing somebody got a bone for being such a good boy and then we're going to do the doors and make all good also. And so the product that I'm using too, it's just FYI, is this direct to metal semi-gloss paint from Home Depot. Working good. And keep going. Okay, so final chapter of the container. Uh, the second coat of this roofing stuff. Um, there were some puddles on here this morning that just needed to dry out. I just swept them off, start repainting it and then the roof of the container will be done and project complete. And that's a wrap, all painted, nice and white, heat reflective, roof looks really good, the rest of the container is all painted nice and green. One gallon of Henry's top coat, white, bright white, for a 20 foot container, worked out pretty good, just made it. So there you have it, container painted. Very good, all the way around, looks really good. I gotta come back and do one more coat of that white paint on the roof for extra waterproofing. And uh, to keep it from weathering, but the whole exterior of the container here, cherry, looks really good. Got the doors, looks really good. Inside of the doors, tried to get it all together. Okay, so that's that project. Next is gonna be the retaining wall. It's a little two foot by 24 foot retaining wall because this is where I'm gonna build my barn. So anyway, that project will be next and I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. Aloha, have a great day. Kona Cowgirl, Carol Spearling, the realtor, out.